Hello and thanks for joining us here on Chasing the Dollar, brought to you by TAB Sports Bet. Ben Damon is my name, joined by Tim Newbold. And Tim, well, you didn't have Garrick Bale on top in the Peter Mossman, but gave a huge push. How was your week last week? Yeah, it was a really good week. Uh, Benny, I played it right. Uh, I did back Garrick Bale. I couldn't back Eddie for now at the shorts. And Garrick Bale at $7 odd, he was a fantastic bet. He's a high-class greyhound. He's going to win many more races down the track and group races I'm talking about as well. Yeah, it's certainly a busy time at TAB Sports, but just at the moment, Glenn Munsey joins us to take us through it. Well, thank you very much, Benny. Let's have a look what's coming up at TAB Sports Bet. Friday night at Wenty, a $3,450 jackpot going into the Big Six, and then Saturday night at Biggie, a $20,000 jackpot going into the Quaddy there. We had a little bit of a quiet week this week, Peter Mossman last week, but if you're going to hook into the form Friday and Saturday night, those jackpots will carry forward. Friday night also, the running of the Taralgon Cup, the market up already. Whelan has been posted as the favourite in the Taralgon Cup. And Saturday night from the West, the running of the Heats of the WA Oaks. So a focus interstate this week coming up for Greyhound Racing fans. Okay, thank you very much, Muns. We'll talk to you at the end of the show. Now we start with race number five. This is a third and fourth grader. There's some pretty handy greyhounds going around here. But, Tim, how do you line these ones up? I like one at value. And number eight, Crazy Fraz ran 29.85 a couple of runs ago at Wentworth Park, then finished third last time out. It was a really good run. She's beautifully drawn wide out on the track. She'll stay very wide in the drive to the first turn. And I think there's a big, big chance of jamming here because you've got a lot of greyhounds with similar pace to the first mark. Where's the risk? Main drag, Adam away. No rules, Luke. They'll all be driving uh, together into that first turn, and I can see there's going to be trouble here, and I think Crazy Fraz will stay out wide, hook up and around them, roll to the top into the back, and I think she'll be too strong. I think she's a great each-way bet. Seven Street Boss, uh, for that reason as well, would prefer him drawn a little toward the inside, but he might track across with Crazy Fraz if there is trouble inside. Throw in number two, Main Drag. He loves Wentworth Park. He can clock 29.71. Throw him into the multiples, followed up by Ruby's Lair. Now, the Greyhounds won through last week to the final here for race number six. We've got El Caballo going around from the six here, Tim. A golden Easter egg finalist. Do you put it on top? No, I don't. I've put it into my numbers. I just think he's going to need plenty of luck from that six alley. He's been over the middle distance of late, and he he, he really showed good burn last week, took the lead at the first turn. He was always going to win from that point, and he did clock flying time, but I can't see that happening this week. I like number two, Armadeus Strikes. I think it's beautifully drawn in the two alley with a Moderate beginner on it on her outside. The Greyhound in box four, Cool Jen Ma, holds the key to the race. It is a good beginner, early pace, and wants to get very wide at the first turn. I can see that Greyhound holding the outside division up, and the inside three really come into it. And I think number two, Armadea Strike, will just either lead or sit right on the pace behind half empty, and I think she'll be too strong at the end. Three city class, really good run when beaten by El Caballo last uh, last week. We'll get every chance. Throw in number one. Half empty, looks the early leader to me, but does lack strength at the end. Now, race number seven, this is a fifth grader. The two dog here is Entrust. This was your best bet last week, Tim. You had to be a little bit disappointed with how she performed. Are you going to back up? I am going to back up. She was a bit disappointing. She had her alley, box eight. She did cop a uh, check at the first turn, which did put her out of play, but I don't think she was really going well enough at that point of the race to be winning. But I still think she's got a fantastic chance in this. She's got two greyhounds on her outside, which will give her room to move in the early stages, which she does need. Um, uh, she, she is a good beginner and she can muster when she gets rolling into stride. I think she might just get the gun run right near the pace here and she'll be very hard to beat. Three Black Rogue, a uh, really good win at Dapto last time out beating Jack's Pocket in, in good time and comes back to Wentworth Park is capable of running very, very fast time. And number one, Kyle's McGill for the multiples should get the, 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 the cushy run back on the rails. The final leg of the quaddy is race number eight. This is a fourth grade race. Now, free will goes around here. This was your best value last week and was a winner. You're backing up there. Uh, he's got a fantastic chance. There's only two real leaders in this race in Benita Banana, number three, and seven, Free Will. Whatever Greyhound leads at the first turn out of that pair, I think will get the money. But I'm going to go with three, Benita Banana, because she's got a wide runner on her outside and a slow beginner ship, so she's going to get a heap of room to move in the early metres. She, she'll, she'll begin quickly. She'll run through. She, can, she should take the lead, and she can run around 30 and 10, and if she does run that, I think she can pinch it. 
Uh, free will, as I said, if he does lead, he'll be very hard to beat, but I just think Benita and Badana might just have a little too much early toe for him. Throw in for Total Terror, racing in career best fashion. Lacks early pace, but really, really strong at the end. If the leaders do come together, he is certainly the knockout dog. Well, Tim, we have been keeping that tally of your best bet, certainly in positive territory, despite a little dropout last week. Where are you going for your best bet this week? We can bounce back, Benny. Race six, number two, Amadea Strike. I, I just think she's going to get every chance in the early stages, and she can posse up at the pace, and she's strong at the end. Race six, number two. Now, the best value has been on fire of late. Where are we going this time? Uh, race five, number eight, Crazy Fraz. In, in a hard race, I just think she represents great each-way value. She's beautifully drawn, and she'll run a bottler. All right, let's go back to TAB Sports. But Glenn Munsey is there for us this week. Glenn, there is plenty happening. Well, general sport this weekend and racing at TAV Sports Bet. Make sure you get some sleep. I don't know when it's going to happen. Because we've got Black Caviar on Saturday night into Sunday morning in the Diamond Jubilee and the last day of Royal Ascot. Euro goes into the quarterfinal stages on Friday morning there as we work towards the final in another couple of weeks' time. Typical rounds of AFL and NRL. The Swans are at home on Friday night to Geelong at the Sydney Cricket Ground. I think, uh, what is it? Oh, five, seven years ago, Nick Davis got Sydney into the finals there with that last minute goal for Sydney against Geelong in a semi at the Sydney Cricket Ground. The Bunnies go up to Brisbane to take on the Broncos in Friday Night Football Live on 9. The Dragons play the Gold Coast down there. And an interesting match in the AFL, of course, Greater Western Sydney against the Melbourne Demons. Very good effort by the Giants last week against Richmond and Melbourne have got in as favourite there. All the other sport as we work towards Wimbledon tennis-wise, we're at Eastbourne and we're in Herchenbosch for both the men and the women, but don't matter. No matter what's covered at TAB Sports Bet, it's easy to access on the web at tab.com.au, on your iPad, your iPhone or your Android phone. But more importantly, very, very easy to just duck on down to your local TAB. Have a chat to the agent there and no doubt they'll help you out with what's happening at TAB Sports Bet, boys. OK, thank you very much, Glenn. Now, Tim, you're having a week off next week. Going to spend some of those winnings that you've built up in recent weeks. We'll see a new face here. Yeah, uh, the pun has been pretty good, Benny. I'm going to have a week off, head up to Port Douglas. Yeah, Luke Marlow, the uh, John Tapsky Racing Scholarship winner from last year. He's going to step into uh, step into the chair. He's a very, very good judge. He's a fantastic young race caller as yeah, well. he's a very good caller indeed. Thank you very much, Tim. Enjoy your week off. We'll see you next week, though, on Chasing the Dog.